Well, hi there, band. I just wanted to come to you today to uh, invite you to uh, think through something with me. I'm contemplating. Uh, there's been a, a lot of worship pastors, so this is kind of just to under, help you understand the pressure. Not the pressure. What I'm saying is just the, the, the so many other worship pastors and so many times we look at what others are doing. And, uh, and I know that that's not a good enough reason to do it. But, uh, but it's, there's also value in what they're trying to do. So, so that's kind of a little bit more what I'm trying to emulate here in this idea. The idea is to move from having stands on the stage. That's a major move. Uh, some pastors, worship pastors, uh, make their band members uh, learn the music and memorize it. And uh, I, I think that's that's there's, that's asking a lot, and uh, uh, it's 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 one when they get there, it's a hard place to get to, but it's a good place. Uh, it it simplifies the stage, it simplifies that look, it gets our eyes up a little bit more, it gets our ears listening a little bit more attentive to what the other band members are doing, and it also engages the congregation a little bit more into into what we're tr trying to do. We're trying to give attention and glory to God. Uh, rather than just the music or the sheet that is in front of us. So um, uh, it just kind of helps us to get our head up. The Bible talks about quite a, not quite a bit, but a, a number of times in very important spaces where it says, lift up your heads, O you gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. When we get our eyes down, we are full of ourself. And, um, and, and that sounds kind of, uh, negative, but that's a reality sometimes of our life in moments where we get our head down. But when we get our, when we can get our pick our head up, uh, we re start to rely on His strength and His power rather than on our own. And sometimes we think that our music uh, in in our actual playing is what the where the power comes from, and that's not true. That's not true. The power of what God is going to do through you. Uh, doesn't even come through music at all. It comes through much more of your personal time with God. So first of all, uh, what I'm encouraging here doesn't necessarily fix that. So, but what I'm encouraging you, number one, is to spend some time alone with God. Get into that secret space and grow closer to Him through His Word, uh, through prayer. Dump your stuff out on the table and allow Him to do something with that because he is greater than those challenges that you're facing and by put, placing them before him on those on the table there he can do something with it if you're just kind of trying to keep your head down and trying to do it on your own you're not going to get there so that's that's number one so the suggestion this is kind of a long ways to get to here but uh so many things that are on my heart right now is that there is a resource it, rather than having the band do everything in uh, uh, memorization, uh, we can put the, 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 the words like a chord chart, basically, on the back screen. Uh, now, it's, it would still be my theory in practice is that it would be probably good to print off your music like normal, practice it, uh, write in there what you need to so that you have an idea of what you're playing when. Uh, those are kind of the, some of the things that you'll have to maybe memorize. And then, uh, and then in rehearsal, we run through the song once. You can still lock in on those notes that you made. And then the second time we go through the song, only use what's on the screen. And it's like a chord chart where the words are there and then the chords are written above that. So I just want to ask you, how do you feel about that? What would that look like for you? Would that be... A large challenge? Would it be too big of a challenge? Um, do you not like that idea at all? Uh, should we not go in that direction? Uh, one of the barriers to that is that it's about a $60 a month uh, thing. Uh, and since we don't have uh, a tech lead or an admin lead, um, I'm, I would be purchasing that or with the church. And uh, so let me know what you think about that. I'd appreciate your thoughts. Thanks, guys.